So a bit of a different vlog today. <laughs> I was actually planning to go to Universal. I was gonna go in for the early entry for pass holders, which is amazing by the way. An hour in the morning, you don't have to even be staying on site. You just have to have an annual pass. Uh, I think you have to have a certain tier of annual pass, but still so good, especially considering the price of the annual pass. But anyway, I digress. I was gonna go and go on Hagrid's and Velocicoaster, but as you can see, the weather is miserable, which is not something that would deter me ordinarily. However, it has been torrential rain and there has been lightning. So I'm pretty sure the two rides that I wanna go on are not gonna open. And so I'd be severely disappointed if I drove all the way there, parked up, walked through the rain and then come knocking on the ride. So I don't think it's worth the risk. I'm kind of sad because actually I haven't been to Universal this trip. I kept meaning to go and it just didn't happen. Mostly because I've been lazy and was petrified about my marathon. Didn't want to get too many steps. Anyway, I'm still digressing. So I am instead rope dropping Trader Joe's. <laughs> so I thought you guys might want to come with me to Trader Joe's instead. Um, I love Trader Joe's. I wish we had it in the UK and we don't. And yeah, that's that. So let's go have a look around Trader Joe's. Here we are, Trader Joe's. Heading on in. I got myself a trolley. I'm not actually gonna be getting a trolley load worth of stuff because today is my last day in Florida. So um, yeah, I'm just obviously <laughs> not gonna be having much more, but I wanted to pick up a few bits that I wanted to take home with me. Also, oh my gosh, this is the quietest I've seen Trader Joe's. Look how empty it is. All right, these chopped salads are my absolute favorite. I love them. You can get them here. They have them in Target as well. But uh, the Trader Joe's ones are really good because the actual salad itself has just lots of different bits in it. I think the Target one tends to be like really just lettuce and then they give you the bits to put on it. But they give you crispy bits to put in there and salad dressing and it's just so, so good. They also do a great selection of salad dressings. That vegan creamy dill dressing sounds amazing. The snacks here are next level. <laughs> All of the different choices. And also the layout here is so random, like there'll be snacks above the frozen section. There's kind of just stuff everywhere. Um, but that kind of makes it more fun because you're just kind of like wandering around trying to find things and then coming across unexpected things. <laughs> but yeah, if you are coming in for something specific, it can be a little bit overwhelming because like I say, like look literally there's like Caesar dressing and above that are peanut butter cookies and then below that is frozen stuff. So um, yeah, it's quite random. These milk chocolate peanut butter cups are delicious, highly recommend. I picked up this creamy spinach artichoke dip the other day. I'm actually gonna have this later with lunch with some tortilla chips, but it looks really nice. They've got a huge selection of crisps and chips, all different varieties. I quite like these ones up here, the blue corn tortilla chips. These are so good with the Greek yogurt everything but the bagel seasoning dip. Oh, my favorite. All right, so cereal bars. This is where I get my favorite cereal bars as well when I come to Florida. Uh, so I really like these peanut butter chewy coated and drizzled granola bars. And then I also like the PB&J ones here. Probably the most iconic section of Trader Joe's is its seasoning section. It has such a good range. The everything but the bagel seasoning has such a cult following. I love it. I always get a couple and bring them home. I put it on my breakfast pretty much every day. If I ever have a bagel with cream cheese, I put it on. If I have eggs, I put it on. Oh, so good. But I'm gonna try a couple of others that I'm gonna bring home with me. I'm gonna take this one, everything but the, how do you say that? <laughs> hello to hello, I don't know. But um, this is supposed to be really good on corn and I love corn in the cob. And oh, I'm just having a look now to see if there's anything else that I want. I like the sound of this ranch seasoning. It says sprinkle on popcorn, vegetables or use in recipes. On popcorn, that's interesting. There's a cheesy one. Oh, I bet that's so nice on popcorn. There used to be a cheesy popcorn. It was like Manhattan popcorn grown up in Ireland. I don't think we have it anymore. And they definitely didn't have it in the UK. I think it was an Irish thing, uh, but they don't do it anymore. And that cheesy popcorn, it sounds weird, but it was so good. I think this is my favorite dip. It's the everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. And it is just so, so good. I actually went through a whole thing of this <laughs> when I got it the last time when I was here. and. Yeah, literally just sat with chips, ate the whole thing by myself. <laughs> They've got a really good soup selection. I've got the broccoli and cheddar soup and that was really delicious. But I'd like to try some more. Just don't have enough time to try all the things I wanna try. <laughs> I know I'll be back, but oh, to have one of these close by would be amazing. The selection of nuts is outrageous. It's massive. I kind of want to get something to try, but there's just so much choice. 
these look delicious sesame honey cashews oh my gosh macadamia nuts they all look great don't they sweet and spicy pecans roasted and salted pecan halves and then they've got like trail mixes and everything as well i'm tempted by this everything but the bagel nut duo almonds and cashews can you tell that i like anything but everything but the bagel seasoning on it <laughs> i'm obsessed I didn't realize there was any restrictions on purchasing alcohol, but it says here, no purchases before 9 a.m. I don't know, is that a Florida thing or is that a Trader Joe's thing? I'm not too sure, but they have a really good selection of beers here as well. I'm here at Terminal C in Orlando. I have just checked in and I have to say, I've had one of the smoothest check-ins I think I've ever had in Orlando before. So that's a good start. Um, I did show up about two and a half hours before my flight. I do find it's around the three hour mark that it tends to be super busy. So I try come just after that. <laughs> and I didn't really need a lot of time in the airport today. It's just me by myself. So I'm happy just to not have as much time once I get through. I did have a nice bit of food and stuff before I got here. But anyway, I wanted to take you guys along with me because I know obviously this terminal is new. And for me as well, I just like to see how things work before I travel because I'm a little bit of an anxious traveler myself. I'm actually, I'm fine once like I get through security and stuff, but I don't like the unknown when it comes to traveling. So anyway, here we are, Terminal C. I've just checked in with British Airways. I am traveling in Club World today. I managed to upgrade with Avios from Premium, but you can see here, it doesn't matter what category you're traveling in, you have no weight at this time. And also guys, as much as I love the carpet, over in terminal a and b rolling a suitcase on this floor is a dream and <laughs> it was so easy i got dropped off literally right outside by my lift and was very easily able to just wheel my bags here they have some signs and stuff outside so you can make sure you get dropped off right outside your own airline all right just heading on through my gate is 242 i think looks like security is not too crazy there's a sign up saying it is five to nine minutes there's a few things this side oh my gosh they still have their christmas tree up it's wild how late places still have their Christmas decorations up. I really don't think I'll see any when I go back to London. It is now the 13th of January <laughs> and it's still Christmas here. I don't know, I find that fascinating. Um, same over at Disney, like they've kept them up real late this year. But yeah, it's saying general is estimated to wait five to nine minutes. They still have TSA pre, they have an MCO reserve powered by Clear. So that was pretty smooth. They did have to test my Bath and Body Works candles, as always. If you ever bring candles through, they always have to test them. But even with that, it was like 20 minutes, so not too bad. So the terminal itself is pretty quiet. There are a few food places that haven't opened up just yet. You can see Chick-fil-A there. They have training in progress. I think they're due to open up pretty soon. There's a TripAdvisor store. That's really random. I've never seen one of those before. We've got a bar. There is a wine bar George here. We've got Auntie Anne, Cinnabon, Shake Shack, and like they have minimal weight as well. But the whole terminal is super bright and airy. It's really, really nice. Upstairs is the Plaza Premium Lounge, which I do have access to. So I will go check that out in a bit. There is a huge Universal store. It's two stories. Looks really nice. And then there's a Disney store over here. And we've got a Starbucks as well. They actually got a decent selection of merch in here. Now, I normally would not buy anything in the airport because you don't get your annual pass discount. Oh my gosh, look, they have special jewelry for the 100. I didn't see this in the parks. I really like the Mickey. Oh, the ears are really cute as well, actually. There's this place that's kind of like half a grocery store, half a bar, which looks kind of interesting. The Universal store also looks like it has a pretty decent selection of merchandise. I wonder if you could use your annual pass in here. Well, I'm glad I asked because they do actually take it. That's really cool. It makes sense because it would encourage you to buy a few extra bits, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm feeling a little bit encouraged right now. <laughs> the half sips here are nice, actually. I'm really into a half sip at the moment. I keep getting half sips. I probably don't need any more, to be fair. I like this jumper as well, the navy one on the top left. I have this t-shirt down here. I literally wear it every time I go to Universal. <laughs> like I have some t-shirts that are, you know, themed to the movies that have rides in Universal, but I think that's the only one I actually have from Universal. Check out the SeaWorld store. How cool is the fish tank? I love that. They've got some really funky colored fish. I'm literally only noticing these massive screens. Let's go take a look. Oh, also, and Wine Bar George is just there. 
Oh, and then it looks like the entrance to the lounge is there as well. Okay, let's go in and take a look at the screen. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is pretty cool. Scene and there's no people on the screen anymore. This is really cool. It's so immersive, so there's like three big massive screens. So you're kind of surrounded. And the sound is really good as well. Look at that, I'm in the video. I didn't even notice this. That is so cool. <laughs> Getting myself a Starbucks now. I won't be able to vlog once I get my Starbucks because I'll have no hands uh, but I'm gonna get my Starbucks and then head over to the Plaza Premium Lounge which is just down to the left of Wine Bar George there. So this is the lounge. You can see they've got a kids area over here and look they've got some fancy water. One has strawberries one has lemon in it it's pretty cool and then they've got a freestyle machine no not a freestyle machine what do you call it like a soda machine there's a word for this and i can't remember you can see down into the terminal then it's still relatively quiet down there though it's not super crazy plenty of seating and stuff around and there's probably more down the gates so also there's a bar area where you can actually sit up and chill out and then you can get your drinks. There is an upcharge for some premium drinks, but a lot of drinks are included as well. And then we have the food area. So I've had a little sneaky peek and I have to say this looks really good, especially compared to what's available over in Terminal B, which is where I usually fly from. So we've got water, ice, and then chilled water and boiling water. I did grab myself some water and this water is not chilled. So if you are getting this one, make sure you get some ice as well. Uh, but then we've got some lovely desserts. You can see there's danishes, chocolate chip cookies, peanut butter cookies. Such a nice selection. I love they have all the cut out fruits and stuff around as well. But then look, a white chocolate creme brulee, brownies, key lime pie with mango coulis, croissants, like such a good selection. Corn chowder soup, and then you've got some saltine crackers to pop in there. There's some different jams and stuff, and teas, I think, and then sugars and that. There's seasonings way back there. <laughs> I could probably reach them if I stretched. There's a little selection then of condiments here, and some cutlery. And then over here, we've got some hot food. So on offer is chicken teriyaki with peanuts ponzu sauce. So here is the selection of desserts that I went to it and I got myself a Coke and a water. Still working through my Starbucks. My Starbucks of choice right now is the pistachio cream cold brew with extra foam. It is delicious. They also have these really cool pod seats where you can just sit down, you've got a little ledge and then you've got your charging ports and a light as well. So yeah, they're pretty cool. Just heading down to my gate now. There's another bar here, Orange County Brewers. That's pretty good. 